Hey everyone, Zodarki 635 on Jemmy Master Animatronics, and today I'll make a review over these two Jemmy uh, Magwai ping pong things. Nah, just kidding. These are just random Furby knockups that uh, people already know just far too well. Um, so I don't really have so much to say about these, but I guess that something I may have to say something about both of these because well they're trash this one's trash this one's not that much but both are trash anyways this is the um herbie i think it was called herbie and this is god this one has an oh perby herbie and perby what a stupid herbie like name damn it anyways um it's no secret that i've always wanted to start collecting furbies and I already have a few in my in my hands, so I may do a review over those soon. I, I gotta go by the speakers, which I don't know if I'll go by because the quarantine has been extended. So that's that's there. But I know that these two are fixed. I actually fixed this one with the speaker of my first Furby because the other okay, the the first Furby is not it, it's dead. Okay, it's gonna go completely fast. I don't know what the hell it has. So I don't know. I, I really don't know. I just took the speaker out. And uh, I don't think it's getting it back because, again, it's not going to do anything properly. But um, this is pretty much the first one I got. I got it in December of last year at the fest. No wonder. Um, and everyone had been telling me, oh, the, fur the Purbies are cheap. The Purbies, yeah, they are a piece of shit. This one's, in fact, the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Um, and I call it the Gorilla Furby. And I'll go to that in a second. Why do I call it the Gorilla Furby? This is, um, as I said, this Herbie one is actually pretty well constructed. It isn't necessarily so well thought within animation and everything, but it is actually a fully functional, fully compatible with an original Furby, meaning that it interacts with an original Furby. It works like an original Furby. And even if you reset it, it changes the voice and the name. So it is the closest to an original one that I've ever seen. Really well made. And of course, the fact it's got it's got <laughs> it's got little funny arms. That's what I like about these so much. They have arms. Anyway, so we're going to go with this one first. Why do I call this one the Gorilla Furby? Cuz it's, you know, just like any dancing singing gorilla you've probably ever seen, all it does is it dances at the clap of your hands. That's pretty much what this one does. It's only a sound activated animatronic that just says a couple of random Furby things and that's it and you you clap again you make a sound again and the thing just goes back and back with the same stupid activation without without even having like two or three it's just one so there's no sensors there's nothing there's just a, a microphone over here that works as a as a sound sensor and that's it there's no relays, there's no IR things, and it's a piece of shit. The quality of it is just a piece of shit. The mechanism was uneven, it would struggle to work. I had to put hot glue in the eyes. I'm not kidding, hot glue, because the 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 rubber it had was, was all hardened up, and it wouldn't even make proper, you know, proper traction against the, the middle of the eye of the eyelids to make them close and open. And of course, what ended up happening after that, <clears throat> what ended up happening is the, the mechanism would constantly jam at some points. Right now, it doesn't jam anymore, thankfully, but as I said, it's just junk. No matter where you see it from, it's junk. And you would think, oh, it works with all three batter with all four batteries. I mean, I kind of I spoiled it right there. No, it's wired to work only with three AA batteries, not with four. And it still has the contact for the fourth one. Now, I need somebody to... Answer me this. Someone who's been into the knockoff, not this one, but the other version, because I know there's exact there's one that's exactly like this one, but it actually has the lasers and it actually works like a regular Furby with the whole, you know, talking and, and the whole IR thing. Is it as much as a piece of shit as this one was? Because let me just show you how much of a piece of shit it was. And the worst is that I don't even have enough photos of it to show exactly what it was. But the mouth would constantly come unclipped. The eyes, of course, were junk. This is pretty much the, the layout. And I and I just did not... 
I took this off, but then I glued it back because I was like, whatever. But again, the body shell would actually have the hole for the microphone. I don't know why the hell they they didn't put that there. And of course, it just has a regular clap censored sound chip. There's nothing, you know, you don't have a button, you don't have anything. And the speaker is just a standard animatronic speaker as well. This is what I mean with three batteries. It's pretty much wired to one of the tins that make contact with the... Uh, with the bottom tray, as I call it, the little lid part. This is pretty much the sound chip it has. It's it's just a small sound chip. And even though it's like this, it doesn't even fit into the toy. You have to kind of put it in place with a lot of precision because it's not like the others where the board takes up the bottom. It's just over there. And again, I'm so afraid of it actually catching with some wire, with some gear or something and just fucking the thing up. But I guess that's the risk you got to take. The um the ear was broken, and I think that's pretty much it. And of course, yeah, that's it for that one. So uh, we're gonna go with it again. The second I I, I take this off, it's gonna make contact. Now I I've been having a really bad luck with these because none of them bring the the screw. This one does not bring the screw. This one doesn't. My Spanish one doesn't. Um, they just don't. Like these Furbies, when you buy them here, apparently they just don't bring the fucking screw. I bought two more, and I really hope that one out of those, those two actually brings it. Because I'll be pissed if not, because I don't have any spares of that. So anyways, here we go. And of course, if you guys can see the eye right there, that was completely my mistake. It began because somehow the fucking eyepiece came off because the, the glue dried up. And the thing is that when it came off, it broke the paint because this is actually painted, I believe. And it broke the paint and it was already looking bad enough. So what I ended up trying to do is putting super glue and putting it back in. It looked fine for the, for the first three minutes. Then the, the glue started drying up. And it basically just, it, it fucked up. Right after that, I put a little WD-40 in between the eye and this, this you know, and the, the white part. And it looks a little better, but as I said, it's just, it's, that was a mistake. I, I take complete responsibility for that. It was just a stupid, you know, a stupid thing that happened. I shouldn't have handled the eyes so much. But as you guys can see, that's practically everything it does. All it does is, ah, chew, me, no help. And it just sings uh, sings that, that lullaby song, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. There you have it. So now if you just clap or do what Jordan does, which is, ba. <laughs> That's everything it does. It doesn't even know where the hell the motor's stopping. The ears don't move that well. I know I know you guys may be like, they, they don't move that well. They used to move way worse. This is the best I could get them to move. Again, it's just so crappily made that I had to sand a side of the mechanism because the mechanism was literally like this. It was, you know, it was crooked. I had to sand a little bit to have the mechanism straight. And even like that, it works like crap. It's noisy. It's just a piece of junk. It's, you know, I, I just like it because it's a Furby with like teddy bear arms and legs and feet. It's it's so weird. I, that That's the only reason why I like it. But other than that, there's there's nothing. There's they, they, they did not even put the back piece of plastic. No. They they didn't even put the back piece of plastic that uh that these have where there should be a button or something. They didn't even put that. So if you just put push in here. So yeah, they went full on cheap. And I don't know, again, I don't know if it's the same company that made first these, then the the better ones that actually, you know, they can talk and they can uh, interact at least between themselves. I don't know if they do it with a regular Furby or not. I know this one does. But, um... But yeah, it's just junk. Of course, that's the battery that they decided to omit. And pretty much you have the main positive here and the main negative over there. So yeah, that's this one. So I'll take a battery off so it doesn't trigger.
And uh, we'll go with the other one. So this is Herbie, as I said before. And uh, I really like it. I, I, it's so annoying. Like after a while, it gets really annoying, but I like it a lot. It's um, one, it's like a classic Furby knockoff for me because I've been wanting it for years. I saw it in Mercado Libre and it's still there to this day, but it's so expensive that I don't think anyone's going to get it. It's just stupidly expensive, even though it has the box. I don't think it. Anyways, this one was really dirty. This one did not work, allegedly, until I hit it a little bit and it was just the batteries were not making contact properly. That was the first part, but it was really dirty. And uh, even though here in this folder, I actually called it Furbish, it's not Furbish, it's Herbie. But as you guys can see, this is how it used to be. It's, again, you can't really see, but it, it was dirty and everything. The back was the worst because it has it had these like marks from like wax, I believe. I'm not too sure. And they were a pain in the ass to remove because I actually had to cut the skin I had to get the skin to, you know, and it didn't even come off completely. But the whole thing is clean. I'm sorry, it it it, it, tr it turned on. And of course, it's it's massively yellowed. It's just, but again, at least it works. Um, this, as I said, this one's a really well built, or not a really well built, but it's a, you know, it's a, it's um, it's what I call. A properly made Furby knockoff because it's just like an original it, even though it had well I think the original no, the original I think it had like a sensor instead of this it had like two tins but this one has a clicker button and of course the plastic was just tucked inwards it's not it was there and uh, again the speaker was dead and again the good thing another thing is that the speaker is a legitimate Furby speaker all the harnesses are kind of similar they are not the same size of course because you know, nothing's perfect. You can't just go cool and dandy in China and be like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna use everything exactly the same as a regular Furby, but whatever, most of the things are actually compatible, like the sensor and all. <sighs> and uh, let's see what else. Of course, this is pretty much what had happened. That's why the thing was not working. And uh, I couldn't even fix the speaker, so I was like, yeah, I'll just replace it at some point. Again, lots of dirt. And of course, here's the chip. Now, I'll show something of the chip that uh, I, I can't show it because the thing right now is assembled. But when it was disassembled, I guarantee you it's really cool. And this one, of course, only has one chip, which is one sideboard. Um, really dirty. The face was really dirty. And it, need, it needed lubrication as well. It was. It had one of those uh, tiny-ass sensors instead of the larger ones, like the chip indicates. Uh, which here it said vibra, like vibrate, like a vibration sensor, probably. Uh, the the microphone was hardwired to the chip. Same with this sensor for the mouth. And uh, here's the catch. You guys see here where it says test. This is pretty much a test pad. You you make a bridge between these two contacts with a little blob of solder. And the thing only has a couple activations. Like you I I, I don't remember what you would push, but you would push the, the 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 stomach and it would actually be like happy and it would move a couple of times to, you know, like if it was working, but it just has a couple of activations. Like if someone in the factory was like, Okay, I'll I'll test this one why why it failed. So it's really interesting. Now Again, has the same ICs, the same uh, integrated chips as a regular Furby, so they, they really made a great job copying it. Again, lots of things that I had to clean to fix and then to re uh, to re uh, readjust and of course clean the skin. That's the main thing because it was filthy. A little bit closer view of the test thing. And that's practically it. So again, I had to, and here's another thing, I factory resetted it, and I went, again, I had to shuffle through the, through the, um, through the names and the voices, but it's way easier to reset than a regular Furby. With my regular Furby, the Spanish one, until I would get it to the, of course, again, you have to reset it a lot of times to actually get it back into its original voice and its original, um, name because the second you reset it it's going to have another voice and another name or the same voice and another name it's it's constantly you know changing and changing until you nail the same 
two-factor coincidence. Because, you know, you have a Furby, you, you, you reset it and it's going to just talk like a girl and have another name. So you're going to go back and forth, back and forth. And it's the same deal with this one. But this one's way easier to, to uh, reset. Because unlike the Furby, if you keep the button pressed for the mouth and you... And you, uh, I shouldn't even do that because if I do that and I, and I put the batteries, you know, the, the, the batteries drop in, it's going to reset and I'm going to go nuts. Um, if you do this and you close the battery compartment, it basically, it's going to reset and it's going to do that over and over. So you, you, you know, you open and close, you open and close, even if you do that, or even if you push the button, it's going to, you know, reset. While with the Furby, you have to do that over six or seven times for it to actually reset and you have to be like an hour going back and forth back just resetting 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 to get the thing back to how it used to be so this one of course has a low the lowest voice and it's called i think it's called air hole i don't even fucking know it's all it says is air hole again it has the uh it has the the sensors there i don't know which one receives and which one and which one emits the signal. But it has the light sensor. It has the emitter. I'm sorry I'm shaking. I don't know what the hell I'm shaking. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. Now, one thing I don't like about it is that it does have the possibility... It does have the possibility of you putting that little piece that... That makes the thing go up and down, but it's only going to use it when it's constantly working just when you turn it on. That's the other thing I don't like about this one's programming. It's not going to be like the original Furby where you're going to use that a lot more of times. They literally omitted that. Needless to say, this one doesn't even have that. It's The piece is just so badly made, it's just tight on there. <laughs> so there's not even the little plunger piece to make it go up and down. Um, again, the sensors, as I said before, has four of them. The light sensor, I believe that's the emitter, and I don't know which one's the receiver, but you get the point. Uh, mouth sensor, back sensor, the front, the tickle sensor, pretty much. So, here we go. Oh, no. oh and of course, the, the ball sensor. I forgot to mention, there's a glitch over there that it does every now and then. That's why it's so fucking annoying. You tickle it and it doesn't only just laugh, it goes, wow, wow, yay, it's just like, I just tickled you. You're not supposed to be like, I'm not throwing you through the window. Jesus Christ. Yay! See, it doesn't even, it doesn't even, um, purr. It just says random things. Now, after a while of using it, it's gonna, Yay! it's gonna, Yay! after a while of using it, it's gonna start talking a few words. Yay! After a while of using it, it's going to start saying a few other words in English. The 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 only two I was able to to you know to have it say was "me love you," which it's really paused. It's like you turn it on and the thing just says "me love you." It's just so weird. And then of course "happy," which it said in the test mode and it said at some point when I when I tickled it one time. But again, it's something you just got to keep using and using and using. And uh, I don't believe this one keeps that much of a memory whenever you take the batteries out and you put them back in, so, yeah.
And now, of course, I'm not really sure if that's a glitch that it, all of these have, but mine does that every now and then when you tickle it. But it only does when you tickle, I don't know exactly why. This is something that's really unsettling. Just imagine this fucking thing ripping through your... Breaking through your nail. As I said, that's why I like the beak, but it's just so unsettling to see the thing just closing its mouth while you're poking its its center. It's just so... It feels so bad. And of course it should the, the light sensor should actually activate at some point. <laughs> no, it doesn't even activate. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It all depends on what the hell it's doing. See, that's what I'm talking about. So it's doing it more frequently now. It didn't do it that that frequent, but whatever. I mean, that's practically it. it that's all it does. Of course, if you reset it, it's going to have another name. It's going to have another voice, as I said before. Um, again, a fully functional Furby knockoff that's compatible as well with the original Furby, so that's really nice. And that's why I like this one so much. See? It said happy. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's KK Mumu KK whatever the hell it's saying. <laughs> now we'll let it go to sleep and we'll see uh, exactly how that works. And at the same time, because again, this is what I hate about it. If the batteries are not fresh, it's not going to fully close its eyes like the original Furby does. But I believe that if I wake it up after this, it's probably going to say, me love you. So we're going to give that a shot. And if it doesn't work out, then I'm just going to finish the video over here. After all, there's there's plenty of people that have these shits. So I'm pretty sure more than one person must have triggered that already. Now, I, I'll say it. It does, it does go to sleep decently fast. It's not, you know... Like the Furby that keeps bothering and bothering and bothering and bothering and bothering. This one, if you don't do anything, it straight out go, goes to sleep. 
Come on, close those cocaine eyes. Yay! No, nay, you gotta go to sleep. Of course, I gotta I gotta replace those eyelids. They are just terrible. But I haven't huh? I haven't even found you know the proper eyelids. I know they come in like a in like a um, how's it called? I always forget this word. Yeah. They come like if I were like like if they were in a tape of some sort instead of just, you know, being singular pieces, but I was never able to find this in this in this country. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. But whatever. We'll see if I have anything else to show about these things. It's trying to call my attention for the first time because I, I kid you not, it didn't do this before. It would just go to sleep like that. So something tells me that it really wants to bother. Yeah. Oh. No shit. I thought you were called Lady Gaga. Anyways, just a few more pictures of the the whole thing, of course. This is the Chinese sticker it has. <laughs> don't you fucking laugh. Go to fucking sleep. I don't, I don't want you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> you make me cry. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you gotta sleep. I don't want you. <laughs> You're adopted. <laughs> no, you, you don't. You don't say. I thought you were Lady Gaga. Dumbass piece of shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> we'll wait for it to go to sleep. But as I said, it's it's as well, it's a really weird As I said, it's it's as well a very <laughs> There we go. There we go. See, it doesn't even close the eyes completely. That's something I really hate about its animation. And it goes back to snoring. And now the thing just stays like that in some kind of daytime dreaming, which is, again, fucking weird. That's what I hate about its animation. It doesn't, the eyes just don't close. And the thing is, it's not going to trigger or anything, but the thing is, it's having some Vietnam flashbacks. Let's see what happens if I wake it up. There we go again. <laughs> well, it looks like it's not going to say it. Whatever. Oh. Yeah, it's not going to say it. But yes, I said it's not.
It never did this shit before. The hell? Well, that's practically it. Yeah, that's that's practically it. So you guys got the the thing. Of course, I'm pretty sure more other YouTubers probably just had the thing and uh, and triggered that 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 saying. But that's practically it. So those are the two Furby fakes. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see each other next time.